let's talk about <clears throat> a tiny little film called The Greatest Showman. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. That went well. Mr. Carlisle, you produced this play? Yes, I did, ah. indeed. Refunds are available at the front box office. <laughs> uh, I imagine when you signed on, you went, this could do well, right? It could do well. But you couldn't, I imagine, have truly envisaged how huge it got. Like, it was number one in the UK for a year. Initially, when Greatest Showman came out, one of the reasons that I'm so excited about that movie mm -hmm. is that it had one of the lowest opening weekends ever. Uh, nobody came to see it. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, everyone was very hesitant to make the movie. We came overcame a lot of roadblocks. And then Fox pulled through, and <laughs> they, they backed us. What was that? Shout out to um, my director, Michael Gracie, mm -hmm. who is supremely talented. This was his vision, start to finish. And Zendaya, what a partner. We came up with that dance uh, the day after being told that, you know, we'd have like maybe a week to shoot it, that we had one day. All I want is to fly with you. All I want is to fall with you. So just give me all of you. And so we shot our hearts out for one day and sent the footage in and they gave us an extra week to finish the number because it was good enough. How do we But it was hard. It's very hard, difficult to make a musical these days. Yep. It's a shame. If you if you want to make, uh, and the, and I love Deadpool, so don't get me wrong. But if you, you can make Deadpool's all day, sure, and with lots of money for that CGI hand to fly off the man's body after yeah. the sort, we'll do it. But for uh, we actually really had to do trapeze rope work. Yeah, we did rope work for hours. You know I want you. It's not a secret I try. But I can't have you We're bound to break in my hands Are tied I mean that is very impressive yeah. But I want to give a shout out to Truly Zen. Well yeah she's amazing but Hugh. I want to give a shout out to the barman In the other side That Okay the barman in the other side Was the choreographer of the number So trade that typical for something colorful. He is so talented. 15. I do 8. 12. Maybe not. 10. Cloud. His name's Cloud. Aha. Uh -huh. The timing of all the glasses and the glass throwing. Yep. And he had to judge the time, in how long the slides would go. <laughs> he choreographed all that. Sir, looks like you have yourself a junior partner. What I have is an overcompensated apprentice. And he and I had to slide those. He had to slide them to us without looking at us. So he, he's looking forward. Make them to us and, I don't know, slid them three <laughs> meters to the beat without looking directly into our hand. We got to take the shots and slide them <laughs> then six meters into our hand without looking. It was a lot of rehearsal. There was part of me that was thinking, you're getting cut in on the deal with Barnum. The barman needs a cut. He deserves it. He de he deserves credit for the entire dance. <laughs> Shout, what's up, Cloud? I miss you so much. It, it's weird. He has one name. It's Cloud. He's a cool, amazing guy, and he's the barman in Greatest Showman. He's the unsung hero Couldn't agree of more. that movie. Hey, buddy. Off the ledge. Let's talk about. <clears throat> let's get the words exactly right. Extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. He just threw in vile at the end there. Just like why not? But it's a great word. Yes. Because it's different than the other two. <laughs> I wanted to tell you about this book. Have you ever heard of Papillon? A book. Yeah, it's about this guy who's wrongfully convicted of a terrible, terrible crime, and he gets sentenced to life, but he didn't do it. And uh... Goodbye, Ted. With this film, I think the casting of you is genuinely a stroke of genius, because you need to have Ted Bundy, in a modern world, someone that you immediately want to like. And yeah. again, not to blow too much smoke, people like you, Zach. And so it's just a perfect like combination. But I'm imagining when it came up with your people, you must have been like, we need to have a conversation about this. I heard the concept several years ago, over two years ago, and I knew the script was available. I believe I even read the first half, mm -hmm. and it wasn't quite there yet. Mm -hmm. I've never put myself in a position to be in a rush to make some desperate leap into... Do you remember the night we met? 
graduating to another genre of cinema sure. that I'm not ready for. Not only am I, should I be ready for it and capable of it, but I should. I hope people would want would or would be curious to even see me there. Sure. Did, did you do it? No. I had some of the things that Ted Bundy had, which mm-hmm. was notoriety, mm-hmm. popularity, fame, um, and a likable sort of image. You could argue, one could argue. <laughs> sure. um, I hate even saying this out loud, but I'm trying to answer a question for the record. I understand. You look nice, partner. I'm disguised as an attorney today. <laughs> I get very scared, but, you know, he's also really dreamy. Um, It's nice to be able to use something called charm or charisma to uh, play more manipulatively than in the past. Mm -hmm. Like, it was nice. A good challenge, a A really good good challenge. Yeah, a proper challenge, because the easy route would have been to try and play evil. Yeah. And really, the most evil people in the world, some of them are... Just pleasant. Just... As pleasant as can be. Mm-hmm. You should hear people describe Ted Bundy. Yeah. Can we get ice cream later? That is such a good idea, and I wish I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. I have to pull an all-nighter tonight at the law library. All-nighter? Yeah, i got to make sure I'm the most prepared attorney in the courtroom once my trial starts. There is a problem with this film in terms of the unbelievable truth, because so many amazing things happen with him that, for example, without giving too much away, he hops out a courthouse's window. Yeah, let me get back to plotting my escape here. Which, again, is really well done in the film, but you could like, really? You that really have, happened. You must have read the script and gone, are you serious? Yeah, I started re- reading it thinking, this guy's... I can't tell if it's fictional or real. Are we gonna, is this a real true story? And when I talked to Joe, he said, all of that's real. No one knows about it. It's all gonna end. It's only gonna end with the truth. This guy right here became I mean, the face of the, the serial killer, the yeah. monster in the world. I'm gonna end with a slightly more positive note. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> which is this. Over the movies that you've made so far, what mementos have made it back home with you? What have you gone, I'm gonna keep that? Oh, is boy. there a Baywatch flotation so this device? Is a, this is a fake watch right here. Uh huh. But uh, I really liked the way it looked. It was just like a Casio. Uh-huh. But the, the version that it was trying to impersonate was this. And I talked to Robert De Niro, and he said, he's like, life, life's short. You know, he's like, life's short. Just get the watch. <laughs> get the watch. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I got a watch. Deal. And I wear it whenever I come to London. Love it. Uh, what else? I've got, I've got those board shorts. This jersey. Oh, I have the belt that I wore all during hair show. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have it. I literally, I, sometimes I still pull it out. And I'm late. The belt loop uh, has changed a little bit. Sure. <laughs> uh, I still hang out with Brittany. I see her. She's um, amazing right now. Good job dancing today. It's time. 17 again. I don't have that wig anymore. I wish I did. <laughs> I've got just about everything. I'd so imagine. this moment with, with Zan was really fun, and that was this, a pretty cool moment. I also have some battle scars. Oh. Ah. Yeah, because we really did all that rope work. And a shout out to Zen because she's crushed it. Incredible. And to Michael. Zach, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure. It's been a real pleasure talking with you as well. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then do watch these videos or you can listen to my podcast called Radio One Screen Time. Oh, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. You can now get more Radio One in your life by downloading the BBC Sounds app or the BBC iPlayer app. Search for full-length versions of these interviews by typing in Movies with Ali Plum.